Hey, and welcome to this tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to model a vase with NURB surfaces. The first thing we're going to want to do is to import the image plane. You can do so by going into view, image planes, import image. Just navigate until you find your reference file and just open it up like so. Now we've imported a reference into the side view, we can start to draw out the shape. Let's use the CV curve tool. So go into create curve tools, CV curve tool. I'm just going to start down here on the base and work my way up the outside. As you can see, once we've added a couple of points, the curve starts to average out and go smooth. Just finish up on the outside and then just go back down the inside of the vase. You might actually find that clicking and dragging to be more accurate as we place these points. I am just guessing what I'd imagine the inside to look like. Okay, cool. So now we've completed placing the points, go ahead and make some changes if we need to. And we can just delete points and just move them around too. Nice. So now we have the vase shape how we want. To ensure we don't have any holes, one thing we want to check is that the two middle points are aligned. So what we can actually do is just select these two points and scale them along the Z axis. Or whichever axis gives you the same results as this. I'm just going to hop into perspective mode now and go ahead and delete the image plane as we no longer need it. And the time has come to finally use the revolve to create the round shape. Go ahead and select the curve and go into surfaces, revolve. Mine looks okay, but just a side note, if your nerve shape is black, you can actually go into surfaces, reverse direction. It's a bit like your normals being the wrong way around with your polygon meshes. Other than that, I'm just going to leave things as they are and convert this to a polygon object. I do have a tutorial on the different tessellation methods if you want to go into more depth, but in this tutorial, I'm going to be keeping things quite simple. What you want to do is to go to modify, convert, NURBS to polygons, and then just select the box at the end to bring up the menu. For the tessellation method, I'm just going to use general, setting it to per span for both of these options, and a value of two should work fine. And also just make sure that the type is set to quads. And this should give us some nice equal quads with some fencing where we need it. And actually, it seems like we're still ending up with some holes in here, which is no problem, there is an easy fix. If we just uh, select these edges, Hold shift and right click. We can go to merge and collapse edges, merge edges to center. And we just need to do the same on the other side here on the bottom. Cool. So that's how to use the curves and revolve tool to create a vase inside of Maya. And I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please consider hitting those like and subscribe buttons. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.